Hello, my name is Maria Ferraro and I'm the CFO of the Digital Factory Division at Siemens. And I'm so pleased to be here in the heart of Munich at the Werksville area. And this is a special place because it's home to our Data Visions Lab, the future of finance. So come on in and take a look with me. Hello everybody. Hi team. How are you? Hi Maria. Good. Welcome in Munich. Thank you. our Data Vision team. Thank you. I'm so pleased to be here. It's a lovely area. Oh, hi, hi. hi, hello. This looks really interesting. Tell me more. Okay, so this explains how we work. We are uh, following a human-centered approach, mm -hmm. and that means that we initially meet and visit our DF business partners. And from there, you know, we take what we learn from mm -hmm. the field uh, and put it together in a so-called persona um, template. And then we also look a bit deeper into their jobs to be done and the workflow they go through, you know, so that we have all this information uh, in one place. And from there, we come up with scenarios that present our solution. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, what is the current situation? What is the uh, want to go situation? And also have a little MVP and prototype ready mm -hmm. and work on this iteratively. And uh, I will then hand over this to Minyok and Christian and they can touch Talk to you about yeah, so in order to um, to really get feedback by the users, we of course we have to turn this um, this first prototyping ideas we had together yeah. uh, into a functional interface, somehow that people can really work with it. Right. And so that's what we do to really create some pragmatic, first usable um, user interfaces. So our hope is that really, mm. really, we really can then go in iterative steps and improve this until it's really a solution that creates value for the users. Excellent. Before we do any of the machine learning, we try to do some data uh, analysis and we try to explore some structural components in there to understand what, what uh, properties we can exploit in the mm. machine learning process. Okay. So, uh, for example, we look at the trend and mm -hmm. the uh, seasonality and also external market factors. Mm. And so we use this knowledge to help build our machine learning models. And uh, these correlations can be used then in, a, in an additional approach uh, in a predictive manner. Okay. You can make a use of those patterns, um, identify them from the history and then mm -hmm. extrapolate into the future. Here you see a machine learning model. Okay. Uh, it's a neural network that uh, the task here is to, to predict the demand um, for a specific MLF. And you see currently the model is untrained. Mm -hmm. Now it, um, I start the learning process and then stepwisely it adapts to the data. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. It's an iterative process where you present mm -hmm. uh, the data over and over to the model uh, and with every step mm -hmm. it gets more intelligent. Fantastic, really fascinating stuff. And what you can also do is uh, you can uh, automate the complete mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. and uh, this is uh, where uh, robotics comes into play. Hello Maria. Hello. Welcome here to our corner of robotics within the uh, data vision scheme. Okay. A robot is in principle just uh, a system that uh, simulates human interaction mm -hmm. on a PC, on a computer, in order to automate manual repetitive tasks. Maybe you can imagine that a robot can really uh, improve uh, the way how, how you work with, uh, within your, your everyday work. You know, at the end of the day, what it's doing is facilitating the reduction of the manual, tedious, administrative Correct. tasks Correct. and allows for uh, the information to come in a form that enables us to analyze it properly yes. versus doing the yes. Col yes. combining of the data. Yes, yeah? Exactly. yeah, excellent. And in the end, our vision is that we really create a community mm -hmm. of data vision citizens, so yes. to speak, yes. uh, that are spread everywhere and then mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they can collaborate together and mm -hmm. drive the digital transformation from, from uh, their cell. We just wanted to give you an impression about how we work mm -hmm. and what we truly believe is necessary to bring digitalization into the DF organization. Mm -hmm. So you have seen the different people, you have seen they mm -hmm. all have different backgrounds, different skills, and I truly believe you have to bring that together to create also synergies out of that mm -hmm. and use it for your organization and make it tangible. Mm -hmm. I have to yeah. say, going through each steps of the process, meeting the team members, and, and I couldn't agree more, there's a lot of different backgrounds, but that's what we need, that's what makes this team or a team great. Uh, is bringing those different perspectives and skills. But this is the future of finance. I'm really excited about what I saw here today. Thank you very much for having me. Um, and you know, I think that the example that I'll take away is we are combining the quantitative world with the qualitative world. And that data together is gonna help us at DF 
make better decisions, create better transparency, and really make us fit for the future to go into the digital era, you know, finance 4.0. So exciting times. Thanks again for the invite, and I will be back. Thank you. Thank you.